Hi, my name is Annette. At 17, I left home and school and church. I was concerned about overpopulation and wanted to act responsibly, so I learned about birth control and I began volunteering at the University Birth Control Center and I later got a full-time job there. So at 18, I was arranging abortions for other women and then I got pregnant. I had an IUD, I used contraceptive foam, and I got pregnant. I thought my parents would be devastated and I couldn't see myself raising a child. I thought that someday I might have to deal with the fact that I had an abortion, but right now I could not deal with being pregnant. I arranged my own abortion and my boyfriend drove me to the procedure in a distant hospital, drove me home and supported me. A week or two later, I got a pelvic inflammatory disease. I was really sick. I wondered about my fertility. The emergency room doctor said, this is what you get for having an abortion. I was devastated. Ah, a few weeks later, I was called into the abortion, into the birth control center, and I was fired from my job. It seemed that I made some of the employees uncomfortable because they had had abortions. I was devastated and confused. If abortion, uh, if abortion is morally right, why did they feel bad? Why didn't they want to remember? And why did they shun me? I actually consulted a lawyer about it, and he said I, I, I about wrongful dismissal, and he said I had a case, but that my father, who was well known in the city, would find out about the abortion, so I dropped the case. I was silenced. I moved on. I got, I moved away. I had, I got married, and I had children, for once in the right order. I didn't get depressed and I didn't deal with addiction, but there was something missing. Someone was missing. Every Christmas, I would hang a tiny tree ornament, a bear ornament on the Christmas tree for my missing child. In my 40s, God pushed through to me and I couldn't ignore my abortion anymore. I was working a quiet night shift and I had time to reflect and to pray and it hit me. I had lost my child and I had killed my child. I had already confessed this in confession, but I hadn't thought I had really done anything really bad because I really didn't believe that was a human life. But now I knew, and it wasn't just any life. It was my child and I, his mother, the one person in the world who was supposed, supposed to protect him, had killed him. My tears were God's grace, and I felt Mary wrap her arms around me and cry with me. I felt great, life-giving compassion. I went to confession again this time because I was sorry. I will never be sorry enough, and yet I am forgiven. All I got from Mary, from God, from my husband, my priest, anyone I have told is confession, is compassion, sorry. I went to confession again this time for the grave sin of having helped other women have abortions. That weighed heavily on me. In Canada, what is in the womb is determined by whether the mother wants that or not. Wants, what doesn't want, it's a clump of cells. Wants, it's a human being with health care and human and rights. But us thinking that it isn't a human being doesn't change the fact that it is. It was the gentleness of God's grace and Mary's tears that broke through. And I pray always for God's mercy and healing for those who think that abortion is justified. And I am no longer silent. Thank you.